and recognize even before COVID-19, the federal government incurred trillions of dollars of debt, like through those tax cuts, where most of the benefit actually went to the wealthy and the largest corporations. But I think, look, we know that we're at a time where we need to take action, both to preserve our healthcare system and to make sure that our small businesses can thrive on the back end of that. So it certainly did make sense to have some significant investments along the way. Going forward, I think, and we needed this even before COVID-19, an infrastructure bill, because not only will it actually add to great, you know, good jobs that people need, not only could we do things like rural broadband, it'll actually start getting us on the right track. I think we need to continue to manage this from the public health perspective and the economic perspective and make sure that we're careful stewards of any taxpayer money that comes in. Unfortunately, Senator Davis has to run against me, not Nancy Pelosi or anyone else. He forgets the fact that he had a big stake in those last tax cuts. Tax cuts that his party leaders said that they had to get through to make their donors happy. And you know what? Montana's got scraps. And our kids and grandkids got $1.9 trillion of debt because of that. Look, all, when I go to Washington, D.C., I'll take the same steps I have in Montana, making sure that we keep a balanced budget, not spending more than we are, and managing taxpayer dollars just like it's our own. 